there's a gate across it. Um, as you can see, we are in the area that had bushfires at the start of this year. Really not that hungry. <laughs> We are Tiny Travel to a family of four adults and two children, including Katie, Luke, Chiago, Amy Lee, Sophie and Millie. After traveling extensively through Southeast Asia, we found ourselves back in Australia in early 2020. Now that we are back in Australia, we have partnered with Let's Go Motorhomes and we are completing a three week tour of Northeast New South Wales. In last week's episode, we took Lulu South and headed to the beautiful Blue Mountains. Where we experienced our very first free camping. We have made our way down to a place called Blackheath Glen Reserve and it is the ideal place to camp spending a day exploring scenic world. Where we not only got to learn some fun facts of the area. This is apparently the best location on the Blue Mountains to see the Three Sisters. But we also got to ride the steepest passenger train in the world. I feel like at the bottom here, they should write no seat belts. Not all of us enjoyed the ride. That was insane. It wasn't safe. It wasn't, it wasn't safe. safe. I don't know how you say that. Lura, Laura, Lura, Lura, Lura. Yeah. We're you on the Blue Mountains in a cool little town called Lura. <laughs> you guys, if you're coming up here, you have to stop here. It's so beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of, um, uh, it's kind of like Mount Tambourine, but a bit more boutique-y, so. Well, it's definitely well, well more established to some degree. It's got a quaint little street that has, um, What's the opposite to an evergreen? So the, the trees that don't lose their leaves in the winter, right? So it would be fantastic in several seasons and it looks really cool. Um, so we're gonna grab some lunch here. There's heaps of cafes and restaurants, but we're gonna go to the diner. Ways Goose Diner. Uh, get some burgers and milkshakes and uh, see how good the food is. So we're currently in uh, Lura, we believe it's pronounced. It's uh, spelled a little bit differently to Laura. We found our way to uh, Ways Goose Diner, and um, it looks pretty cool. We've got milkshakes, and we've got... Really not that hungry. <laughs> That's huge. That's a big hot dog, is it? It tastes like it comes straight off the streets from a hot dog vendor. It's really good. Across it, um, 
as you can see we are in the area that had bushfires at the start of this year so the gate has been put across the road because the road is no longer suitable to drive down so we have stopped at the gate and we decided we'd go for a little bit of a walk and we just so happen to be walking towards that yeah i don't know what it is so we stopped and we seen this tiny little footpath and we thought that is made for us and we're aiming to get to the top to see the view but look at this everything was just burnt so badly this whole area driving out here you could see the line where the fires they managed to stop the fires but i'm sure you'll see when we get to the top that everything around here has just been just completely taken out it's actually really hard to believe that was this year too i think 2020 has kind of been just a schmozzle of a year yeah. between covid and bushfires yeah. and everything else that's going on for Australia, flooding. But look at this guys. So beautiful. Imagine this with all of the trees that now are just burnt down. Yeah, that doesn't look hard. That doesn't look like the hard way at all. Straight up, <laughs> Don't follow the path. Go that way. Technically, there's no real path. It's just the way the water runs. We have made it back down to Lulu and what an end to the day. That was one of my favorite viewpoints from all of our travels and it felt like we were here completely alone. There was a few people when we first turned up, they left and we had the whole place to ourselves. So it was really nice. We've had a massive day going to Scenic World and then going into Lura to have lunch and finishing the day here. And we've had a really good time in the Katoomba area. But in our next video, we're gonna head off to Lithgow. Let's go. I have no idea how to say it. If you do, comment below with how to say it because I would really appreciate it. But until then, remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you next time.